everyone, it's Phil yeah. with DVTV. Welcome to Dining Out. Today, I am in my favorite part of Dallas, my hood, East Dallas, and I am in front of Times 10 Cellars. Times 10 Cellars is a great place to come, have a snack, have a great glass of wine, made by these great guys that we're getting ready to talk to inside. So let's go on inside and see what's going on. Even the cares that hang around me through the week seem to vanish like a gambler's lucky streak when we're out to get the dance and cheek to cheek oh i love to climb a mountain eat to reach the highest how did you guys come up with this idea well um uh, it was sort of a crazy idea one night over too much wine as a lot of things the best are, ideas yes. come from that uh, but what happened i met chris uh, lawler my business partner and his wife they live in my neighborhood and uh, we were at a little neighborhood function one night visiting and I was intrigued by Chris's knowledge of wine mm -hmm. and his amount of uh, uh, study that he had done as far as Texas growing in Texas and that kind of thing. And it sort of just took off from there. We, uh, we both were familiar with Alpine, Texas, and we think Alpine, Texas is probably a premier growing region for the state. And in 2004, we planted seven acres of grapes there. And uh, then we decided if we've got a vineyard, we've got to have a winery. And we came back to Dallas, and we were the luckiest guys in the whole wide world because fortunately in our neighborhood was this building where the winery is now. And, uh, and we it's a historic to, building. It's, uh, it's a historic building in the sense that it was the first U.S. post office for Lakewood. And it was built in 1945, and it served as the post office through 1976. And I also want to mention that you guys do a lot of fundraising here. You do a lot of non-for-profit stuff here. You open the doors to a lot of organizations, which I think is such a great part of community. Thank you. And I know you all feel very strongly about not only the Lakewood community, but the entire community. Sure. We, we didn't realize that was going to be a, a, big, a big need, but there really is a, a need in the area for uh, or fundraising events, things like even like the White Rock Lake Foundation and all of the local uh, uh, charities and things. And and uh, yeah, we want the doors to be open for those kinds of things. We live here. Uh, we you know, we want to participate in everything that goes on. What's your favorite wine that you have? Uh, probably right now I'm drinking the Cabernet. The Cabernet. And, uh, this is our 04 Cabernet. Uh, I think I trade off a lot. I, I one day I'll drink the Cab, one day I drink the Chard, one day I drink you know whatever we have. But uh, uh, the Chardon or the Cabernet is currently my favorite, and the whites, the Chard. Yeah, I That's like the Chard. It's an unoaked Chardonnay, too. and it's just a really crisp, clean Very wine. Very good. Great summer wine. Great summer wine. Love yeah. your rosé. Also, big fans of rosé. We got to yeah. mention rosé. I'm a huge fan of rosé. I'm a huge fan of, of all your wines, and I have been highly intoxicated in here on several occasions, <laughs> I must add. As have uh, I. <laughs> how, how long have you guys been open? Uh, a little over a year and a half. We opened August 2nd of 2005. So when you sat down at that dinner that night and decided to do this, did you ever think back then that it would be as successful as, as it is in just a short amount of time? Uh, no, it's turned into, I think Kurt may have said, something different than we first imagined. I mean, uh, I, it was shortly after we opened, I looked up one night and the place was full. And, you know, instead of being like a traditional winery, you know, we sell wines by the glass and the bottle and people come in and just hang out. And it's like, oh my God, I own a bar, which is a great <laughs> yeah. thing. So, yeah, we've been very pleased with the response and we hope it keeps going. Well, I think it will. I think it will. What is your favorite? Um, I asked Kurt this. I'm going to ask Chris this. Right now, of all your wines, what's your what's your number one favorite? My, I know it's hard. No, no, I, well, yeah, I guess you're, it's like children not supposed to have favorites. But I do have, you know, with having the new wines, I love our new Cabernet Franc. Cabernet Franc is a wine a lot of people aren't familiar with. Uh, and being here, I've really learned what I really like about wine. It's a big fruit bomb up front, mm -hmm. but it's got a really strong tannins at the end that gives the packs a punch, and so that's my favorite wine right now. We'd like to open up another location at Times 10, maybe one here in Dallas. We'd like to maybe have you know several of these. Um, you know, maybe one day grow it. Uh, we'll keep on doing this in some form or fashion. Maybe sell it as well to uh, you know, Kurt and I are always you know wanting to look at new things to do. So definitely, you know. Everything's fluid. We just go with the flow. Right. You just go with the flow and see what uh, what the universe brings you. Absolutely. I mean, look what it's brought you in a year and a half. Pretty pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, we've been very fortunate. I always say I'd much rather be um, you know lucky than smart. We've been pretty lucky. So the wine goes in the oak barrels. Uh, if it's red wine, anywhere from six months to two years. Some of this wine that I'm taking out of the barrel today has been in the wine, in barrels for two years. Um, now, are these barrels marked so you know what's what's in what? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Obviously, they would have to be or you'd be in, in a heap of trouble, I would suspect. Yeah, well, we're small. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask you this question. Do you have a favorite? And if so, what, what's your favorite right now that you guys are producing? 
Ooh, it changes almost every day. Does it? <laughs> and it depends on what I'm eating, too. Um, probably my current favorite of all the stuff we just released is a little Cab Franc. That's what Rob said. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to try that. You're switching out the barrels. Yeah, I'm taking the, taking the wine out of, the, out of the barrel. I'm taking it out of the tank, out of the barrels, and putting it in the tank today. To okay. Blending it Let's go with another blend in this one, the one of this time. So. So this is kind of getting toward the final, final end of the process for getting ready to bottle. So. There it goes, just like that. Wow. That is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Thanks so much for watching this dining out segment here at the beautiful Times 10 Cellars in East Dallas. Please visit Rob, Chris, and Kurt. They're great hosts and you will love this place. For DVTV, this is Philomena Aceto. If you have any interesting, wonderful news you want to share with us, please do so. We would love to hear from you at DVTVDallasVoice.com. Hi, we're, we're Times 10 Sellers and you're watching DVTV. DVTV.